hello and welcome back so in the previous video as you saw we have added the audio and the sprites to our game now in this video we will add the environment or you can say the map of the game so for that uh, open up the scenes folder and in scenes folder let's rename this to menu so our first scene will be the menu and then our second scene will be the mission so we have the menu now now let's add the environment so if you see right here we have this render file and you will find this file in the resources so go ahead and download it and guys this is just for education purpose only okay so go and feel free to download this or you can add whatever environment you want okay it's your choice but as you signed into a video we have added this environment so we will use this one okay so if i click on it and then click on this extract here as you can see we have now this unity package file which is by the name of industrial zone mobile optimize 1.0 so what i will do i will simply double click on it and as you can see it open up the unity okay our third person editor project and as you can see it shows that import unity package so this is all of the things inside this environment okay we have the different particles we have the prefabs and we have the textures and all of that and it's inside this industrial zone main folder so i will click on this import now and in a minute it will be imported inside our project so as you can see we have this industrial zone right here so now what we will do with it we have two scenes right here which is the scene day and the scene night but as you know our game is in the night mode so we will simply drag and drop this scene night inside the scenes now click on it the scenes folder okay and then click on this same night as you can see we have the environment right here we have the trains the houses and all of that so what we will do right here now we will simply click on this unpack completely and on this one too click on unpack complete okay now click on this scene night and let's rename this to mission click on reload okay now let's unpack them again i don't know why let's show that again okay so now we have everything set up now we have the mission now we have the mission settings dot lightning file right there now let's create a empty game object and in here we will name this as environment and inside this environment we will basically drag and drop all of that like this okay so it looks now neat now if we click on this file and this build settings right here we want to show the menu at the top and then we want to load the mission so when we build this game so when the user uh, wants to play the game and when he play the game we first want to show you menu so it will load the menu and then from the menu the user can go to the mission okay so as you know file build settings and you can simply try and drop it and you can add more scenes for example if you have the end game scene so you can just simply add it after this mission so now let's take a whole look of this map as you can see this is our whole map we have different light modes and all of that and you can reset this map to however you want feel free to do that okay and 
if we come right here to this point so we have this whole area and what we will do with this area we will just simply redesign this to our choice of design okay but we will do that in the next video so catch you guys in the next one